God, man, this is so damn frustrating. I can't understand how the artificial sun works. I don't know how I'm going to complete this project today. Please help me with this. Bro, are you serious? I bring you here to help me with this and you're not even listening to me. Say something. Can I order one more donut? Fine, take, take it all. Okay, fine, fine. I can help you. Can you see the hole in this donut? Have you thought about why there's a hole in the center? No, because I don't have time. Well, there's science behind this donut hole. And guess what? It can help you understand the making of an artificial sun. Well, let's jump into that right away. One of the best and most fascinating inventions humans have ever made is cooking. It is a skill set unique to humans. There are tens of thousands of recipes from all over the world, and each recipe has keen instructions to make a dish awesome. Of all the recipes created by humans, donuts are the most lip smacking, in my opinion, at least. When you think of a donut, you imagine this round shape with a hole at the center. And believe it, there is a reason for that hole at the center. Donuts are made by kneading the dough with milk, sugar, butter, and eggs and then you mix it well and shape it with a hole in the middle and then fry it in oil. But again, why the hole? The heat from the oil is what fries up the donut. The oil's heat gets transferred inside the donut because of the conduction process. Conduction is a type of heat transfer between two substances. For instance, if you keep a spoon on a hot pan, you can feel the heat on the edge in seconds. This is because the atoms on the pan the atoms on the spoon are in contact. The atom-atom contact follows until the very edge of the spoon. The conduction process brings the heat transfer from here to its edge. Similarly, heat is transferred from the oil to the donut. If you try to make the donut without a hole in the middle, the heat from the oil will take more time to reach the middle part of the donut. And all that time frying would make the edge of the donut burn which I personally wouldn't prefer to eat. But if you make a hole in the middle, the heat from the oil transfers from both places quickly and more evenly throughout the donut. The heat transfer from the oil at the outer and middle areas helps fry the donut in all directions evenly and that makes the donut crispy and tasty. The shape of this donut is called a torus. This torus has a special property. Over the years, it has helped scientists and engineers a lot. The applications of the storage ship range from life buoys to electrical and electronic appliances. For instance, the torus ship is used in something called a toroidal transformer. The toroidal transformer is used in several electrical appliances and helps improve the efficiency of electrical consumption of those appliances. Recently, China used this torus ship to build an experimental nuclear fusion reactor. In other words, an artificial sun hotter than our sun. The torus shape helps scientists create the flow of the magnetic field in all directions evenly. And as a sweet consequence, they were able to achieve an insanely high temperature, five times hotter than our sun to be exact. And that is no small feat. And so you can see how a donut can inspire us to create a sun. This proves that if you are curious enough, everything can be made possible. And to fulfill your leftover curiosity, our next Science Insight is on the way. I think you now understand this whole thing. So, pay this bill. And you, for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.